If I could get another chance, another walk, another dance with him. I'd play. Hey everybody, glad to be back with you again. And in this video, we're going to learn how to play the song Dance With My Father. This was a great uh, recommendation, and when I listen to it, I've listened to it many times now and can't hear it without crying. So it's a great song. Hope you enjoy learning it. Uh, we're going to jump in right here. This is Ultimate Guitar, and just so you know, I'm using version 6 of this song. So there are different versions of this song available on Ultimate Guitar. This is version 6, which I found to be closest to the original of uh, the actual way the song goes, okay? So <clears throat> I'm not gonna show you note for note what to play, but I will give you the general essence and some encouragement on how you can go about uh, playing this song to uh, sing it for others. So uh, first, this is middle C right here, okay? And uh, this song starts in B flat and then ends in C. So the intro actually takes place up here. You're gonna uh, start with your left hand right about middle C and your right hand's going to be here an octave above middle C on this note D. That's where your middle finger is going to go, okay? So first, let's look at the intro, uh, what the right hand does in the intro. So the intro melody line that you'll hear is uh, D, E flat, F, F, E flat, D, C. And then you've got B flat, C, D, D, B flat G. Okay, that's the, the notes of the melody, and it's like this. And then, okay, the chords uh, that you're going to play right up here, you're going to start with a B flat, and then you're going to go to an F chord, A, C, F, and then you're going to go to G minor, G, B flat, D, and then E flat, G, B flat, E flat. So when you put them together, it's like this. Okay, and what you can do is if you want to add a little rhythm uh, with the chord in your left hand, this is going to be a rhythm that you will regularly revisit where you play on one and then again on the and of two. So it's one, two, three, four. So in between beats two and beat three, okay? So uh, I'm gonna add that on the second and fourth chords, okay? So like this. Okay, and that's your intro. And then you hang on to that E flat chord and while you do, Hold that sustain pedal down so that you can move into position for the verse where you're going to start singing, okay? So that's the verse, or that's the uh, intro, and then now let's take a look at what to do during the verse. Okay, the verse is, is uh, relatively simple. There's two different verses of the song. There's what you might consider a pre-chorus and then a chorus. The thing with this version on Ultimate Guitar, it doesn't actually break it down by parts like that, so we'll just kind of discuss them as we get there, but uh, the verse, first let's talk about the chords you're going to play, and then I'll show you how to uh, do the rhythm, all right? So the, the chords, you're going to be down here, right hand's going to be right around middle C, your left hand's just going to be playing a single note uh, that's the name of the chord most of the time, okay? We will be changing it a little bit, but so we've got a B flat chord, B, uh, F, B flat, D, this is a second inversion B flat chord. And then we're going to go to an F, okay, for the second chord. And then drop down here to the D sharp, which is E flat, like I mentioned earlier. And then here we're going to do an E flat again. So that D flat or D sharp over F, uh, or E flat over F, is means your left hand is playing a bass note that's different than what the chord name is, okay? So that's an F underneath that D sharp or that E flat. Okay, and you're only going to do that because you're going to come in, um, you're going to make that shift on the end of two to go to the F chord. You'll see how that fits when we start playing through it. But then you B flat again, F, D sharp or E flat, 
and then that same. So it's one, two, three, four. You're moving between B2, three, four, okay? And then um, now we're in the second half, spin me around, okay, till I fell asleep. So here we're B flat. On this D sharp or E flat, I'm gonna suggest you go up here because it's closer to where you just were. So G, B flat, E flat. And then when you go to the B, D sharp minor, E flat minor, you're just gonna lower your thumb down to the G flat or the F sharp there, so. And then up the stairs, he would carry me B flat, C with an E in the bass, which we'll be doing down here also with our left hand, and then F us to the F. And that again is on the and of two, one, two, and three, four, like that for the tempo. Okay, and then in the left hand, you're just gonna do a descending bass line for the first half. So we're gonna go B flat. On the F, I suggest you actually play an A. You play a G on the E flat. With then when you get to the E flat here, play a G. And then you got the F. So the descending bass line kind of just goes like that for the first half. And then when you got to the, so I'll play through that. So child for life moving on in the sense like that. Father left behind. And then now we're on the B flat here. And then on the E flat or the D sharp, you're gonna actually go to the E flat down here. Okay, and then the D sharp minor, E flat minor, there, and then B flat, he would carry me, and I knew for sure, okay, I was loved, okay, and now we're on to the chorus. Now let me talk one thing about the rhythm before we get to the chorus. So there's two rhythms I would suggest for this in the way you work through the chords. One is just hold for all four beats. Two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, that little shift there, obviously, but just hold the chords for all four. But what you could do instead, if you want to add some variety, and this happens in the chorus and in verse two later, is you do that accent on the end of two for each chord, okay? So you could do it like this, two, three, in your right hand, two, three, four, two, three, four. All right, now I'm gonna play it so that you can see how it fits uh, with the words and the chords and tempo and all of that together. Back when I was a child Before life removed all the innocence My father lived me high And danced with my mother stairs he would carry me and I knew for sure I was loved okay so for the chorus a lot of the same chords B flat F here we're going to do a G minor this came from the intro we did this in the intro and then D sharp or E flat we're going to go there because it's a real easy transition okay now C minor is another real close chord you're just going to go up here G C E flat back to G minor okay E flat or the D sharp and then F sus to the F and then when you get to this B flat here at the end of the chorus is when you're going to go actually back up to the that's back to the intro right there, okay, at the end of the chorus. Okay, so uh, left hand, gonna do the same thing, but this time instead of doing the walking down, you're gonna play the names of the chords. So B flat, F, G minor, and E flat, or D sharp, and then C minor, G minor, D sharp slash E flat, and then F sus, F, and then you go up 
at the end of the chorus there on the B flat. And the chorus, if you sing along, sounds like this. If I could get another chance, another walk, another dance with him, I'd play a song that would never, never end. How I love, love, love to dance with my father. Okay, and we've done that. It's the same as the first verse that I covered. Let's skip ahead now to the bridge. It goes uh, from verse 2 into chorus 2, and chorus 2 is pretty much the same, except for at the end of chorus 2, instead of going into the intro, uh, you just hold that B flat. Okay, you get to the B flat and you hold it for two measures. Uh, actually, no, only one measure. And then it goes to the E flat. This is the start of the bridge, okay? And you're gonna do these chords, so E flat or D sharp, and then F. Now on this B flat, F, G minor, you only do two beats on the G, on the B flat and the F. Okay, so four on the first and three, four, one, two, three, four, and then we go one, two, three, four on the D E flat and then the same thing there now here's where it changes end of the core of the bridge we're going to do a C minor seven so this is an E flat chord in my right hand over a C which makes an E minor seven okay that's a true E minor seven but I'm doing the E flat up here two three I do it for four and then when I go to the F sus instead of moving quickly like two three four I'm going to hold both for four beats two three, four, two, three, four. All right, now I'm gonna play it. Sometimes I listen outside her door And I hear how my mother cried for me I pray for her even more than me I pray for her even more than me of the bridge you're gonna return to this um, intro thing okay uh, which is really cool really pretty it comes up out of the bridge now out of that after that reprise of the intro you're gonna go to another chorus that modulates a modulation is when you change keys in the middle of a song so we were in B flat now we're gonna go back and it's the same chords as the chorus but we're gonna be in C okay So instead of doing this, B flat, we're going to come back. Now we're going to do a C chord. And I'm going to do an octave in this hand because I'm really wanting to drive that home. It's kind of a climactic part of the song. And then C, uh, G, C, and E up here. Okay. And then G over B. G in the right hand, B in the left hand. A minor. And here your rhythm. You could do the... F, two, three, four, D minor, D here, A, D, F, back to your A minor, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, two, three, four, that's the G sus to the G, and then we land on an A minor, two, three, and we hold it for two measures, two, three, and then this tag here at the end, Okay, F minor six, so here's your F. This would be an F minor chord. This is your one, your three, your five. This is the six. So I'm leaving this out, playing it down here, and playing my F minor six there. Every night I fall to sleep, and this is all I ever dream. Now on dream, you're gonna go up here and you're gonna play a reference to the intro in the new key. Okay, so uh, notes on that one, 
E, F, G, G, F, E, D. And that's as much as a reference as you make, actually. And the chords are a little different here, even than what I have on my screen right now. So uh, the chords, it's G, a C to a G, and then an F, F chord. And then there's a D minor 7 chord, which will look, play like this. And then a G7 chord, which will play like this, G, F, B, D. And then we land on the C chord, on a C, G, C, and an E, G, C up here. So let me play that for you. And then... I like to actually add that 9 in there. And you really slow down right there for your ending. One more time. How exactly you play through that is up to you, but that's just a uh, way to play through it that kind of captures the essence of it, but lands on the chords, okay? So, I know I'm playing for much too much, but could you send back the only man she loved? I know you don't do it usually, but dear Lord, she's dying to dance with my father. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for the suggestion. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to click in the description to find the link to the chords on Ultimate Guitar and also to find a link on how we can learn to play the piano together. So follow that and find out more. All right. Thank you again. God bless you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.